Bounce that road, 1959, movie script. Ladies and gentlemen, for reasons that you will soon understand, the makers of this motion picture ask you not to divulge what you're about to see to any living person. Thank you. I take you now to the independent duchessy of Grand Fenwick, the smallest country on the face of the globe. This tiny but prosperous nation which occupies a total area of 15 and three quarter square miles lies high in the French Alps. Somewhere around, I beg your pardon, somewhere along, where along, oh yes, here, Grand Fenwick was founded in the year 1430 by Sir Roger Fenwick, a poor but honest barish, British baronet, who, he, as he said late, later said, took a fancy to the neighbourhood and moved in. Thus, thanks to Sir Roger, Fenwick is the only English-speaking country in Europe. Modern Fenwick is ruled by the Duchess Gloriana XII, who is a direct descendant of Sir Roger, and is beloved by all her subjects. Though still in mourning for her departed consort, Count Leopold of Bensonwana, his Z Governine, who disappeared during a tiger hunt 27 years ago. Duchess takes an active interest in her country's welfare. Frederick's Parliament, Parliament, here is the Hedgerary Prime Minister, Count Rupert of Mountjoy. A graduate of both Oxford and Cambridge, Fenwick's Forest, here in these sheltered lays, the wealth of its feathered and furry folk is watched over by Fenwick's hereditary vice ranger, Tully Bascombe. Fenwick's army, although Fenwick has been at peace for 500 years, the longbow remains a national weapon. Here in the army exercised under guidance of Tully Bascombe, who is also the hereditary field marshal. And grand constables, the armed forces aim fire. If many, if many Fenwick Wickedens seem to resemble each other, this perhaps be ascribed to the influence of the founder, who was in every possible way the father of his country. Fenwick's prosperity is based on its only export. Pinot Grand Fenwick, as a small but sturdy local wine, with a virile but friendly bouquet. For some obscure reason, the United States has always been the major market for this wine, thus securing its prosperity and aggravated by its high alpine climate. Fenwick has always been a happy country, having in 1959 Californian wine grower bottled an imitation of Pirate Grand Fenwick and called it Pirate Grand Inwick. Backed by a vast advertising campaign and sold at a higher price, his imitation soon drove Penwick Grand Pen, Grand Pen, Benwick out of the American market. Result: in short, very short time, Duchy of Grand Fenwick was in a state of absolute crisis. On fateful day, gentlemen, 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 pray silence, gentlemen. You made me drop a stitch. Your pa, your pardon, your grace. But that has the Prime Minister never thought of sending a protest to the United States about the Confederian fellow and his invitation wine? My oh, dear chap, oh, I sent well, not one uh, not one protest, but three. Mind you, the situation is complicated by the fact he have never officially recon- never officialized recognized the United States. We have to send all all, all a process through Monte Carlo. Sad truth is that it each of, our, of those processes have been ignored until today. Where is see this? What is it, Bobo? It's a pamphlet from the Department of Agriculture on how to grow great, grow grapes for wine. If that go, goes on, we'll be bankrupt. My friend, we are bankrupt. As for today, we're living on petty cash. Good heavens, if only poor Leopold was alive today. Your grace, gentlemen, our situation is desperate, indeed desperate. We stand poised, the brink of disaster. There is only one way out, war. You must declare war on the United States. But we could never win such a war. Of course not. But we could win the peace. And given this is a lot of fault, or given this a lot of fault, gentlemen, I'm perfectly positive I'm right. You must remember, the Americans are very strange people. 
whereas other countries fairly forgive anything. The Americans forgive everything. There isn't any more a more profitable undertaking for any country than to declare war on the United States and to be defeated. True, true. As soon as the aggressor defeated, then the Americans pour in food, machinery, clothing, technical aid, and lots and lots of money for the relief of its former enemies. In other words, gentlemen, in effect, declare war on Monday, we defeat on Tuesday, and by Friday we'll be rehabilitated. Habitated beyond our wildest dreams. Yes, but what is it? Is that on this Burbo? No, not really, but it's technically terribly practical and infallible, too. I give you my word, Your Grace, it will solve all our problems. But we have no army. Oh, pish pish, who needs an army? 20 men or so will be quite significant. Who's going to lead him? Charlie Westcoff, Westcombe, of course. He's our heritage field marshal. And Grand Marshal Tully? No, not Tully. He's, well, he's a very nice boy. He's never been any good at games, exactly. You can't send Tully on a mission like this. He's got fallen arches, fat feet, sinus, migraine, claustroph- claustrophobia, high blood pressure, apart from being nearsighted and getting dizzy in high places. You're not asking them to climb the out, you know. All Tony has to do is to get the gentleman over there. But so they try to land in New York without visas, he'll be arrested. And that's is all there is to it, really. Don't want anyone but one hurt. Of course not, Your Grace. I'll tell Tully to be very careful. Besides, we can send Will Buckley with him. Buckley was a sergeant in the British Army in another, another war. He can act as interpreter. Well, gentlemen... There's only one way we have but one choice. Bankruptcy or prosperity? Which will it be? I don't know to declare war by the United States of America. As leader of the party of the common man, I say that war is irreprehensible, barbaric, unforgivable, unthinkable. A second motion? Well, we're at war with America. Well done, sir. A historic moment. A preferable one. True, I hope. We'll take this down. To the post office and get it into the post immediately, will you? Sorry, sir. Oh, and will you better put on a, put a special delivery stamp on it? At once, sir. My friend, the die is cast. But our cause is just. There is time. There is a time and tide to be or not to be. That is the question. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Our country, right or wrong, right? We we'll drink to that. To our glorious defeat. I will tell you, yes. What do you want? Well, sir, about this war, I'll sooner not go. If you know what I mean, I don't know. What do you mean, Tully? I'm surprised at you. You know how badly we need the money. Yes, I know, sir, but I don't like to leave the forest just now. It's the mating season. Tully, this is bigger than the mating season. This is your country calling. Yes, yes. Now run along, Tully, and get your arm together. All right, sir. You don't do anything to make the Americans angry with you. I'll be careful, sir. Oh, come, come, Tully, look here. Enjoy every moment of it. It's a great sport. Besides, the ocean voyage will be two wonders for you. I'll get seasick, sir. My dear fellow, with these new, their new stabilizers and all that sort of rig and roll, the modern ocean liner is as steady as a rowboat. I'll get sick, seasick, you rowboats. Say, please. Well, well, there you are. Pretty good turnout. Yes, I shouldn't think. They'd want to go, Will. Not with the harvest coming up. I expect I shall have to appeal to their sense of patriotism. Men of Finwick, do you love your country? Yes. When you hear the name of Grand Finwick, do your heart swell with pride? Yes. Your country calls. You rush to this? No. Oh, I don't think I'm very good at this, Will. But leave it to me, yes. Now, men, I want twenty volunteers. All of you fall up in ranks on the double. And to answer well, men, here's the situation. We're at war. We're going to invade the United States of America. Good luck, mate. Now, if you let me explain how this is the situa- this situation, I told you. With the harvest coming up, they won't want they wouldn't want to go. 
I'll give them harvest. Men of Grand Fenwick, have no fear. Providence will smile upon you. Because your cause is just. I know what that you will all uphold the honour of your country. And it cheer your hearts to know that your government has managed the money for your return fair home if necessary. Bless you all, right men. Up bags, company to the right face. Be up by the right quick march. I do hope the Americans are kind to them. They'll be fine. Fine body men. The best investment this country's ever made. Declaration of war. The President, Congress, and people of the United States of America. Greetings. Act of aggression. Clear a state of war is this. Between Grand Fenwick and the United States of... Oh, those boys. The press room. I was making with the jokes. Eight, ten, nine out, company. Yeah, fight, fight, left. <coughs> left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Pick up that. Pick up that. Pick up that. Keep going, you lovin' lovers. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Oh, I think I'll go up to the deck wheel. You got to on the deck. Oh, why do you go? Don't you go below if you feel seasick, Will. I'll be all right. Where will? Uh, tell the men. I think I'd like to be alone. It's a this, sir. The President of the United States. Now it's a practice air raid alert. Which will affect the entire east coast of the country. Ships will be forbidden entry to any port until the alert is over. <coughs> <coughs> when does it start? In less than an hour, sir. You look completely deserted. That should be quite a sight. It's because of this new bomb that they're working on, I suppose. That's it, that's it sir. The Q-bomb, they call it. Say you make, you make the H-bomb look like a firecracker. Mm. They never replaced the British tank of Tonkin, Navy Tonkins. <clears throat> no, sir. Look, sir. Look, sir. Clean the litter. Turn them out. I pulled New York's clothes. What are you doing down there? Turn them out. I pulled in New York's clothes. Did you hear me? The port's clothes. What's the matter with him? Stay away from them. From hey, stop that! What are you playing at? It's his dangerous stop. Uh, we're at war, sergeant. Not with everybody. That's funny. I can't see anybody. Looks deserted. Yes, that's what I mean. It doesn't seem to be anybody around. We can surrender to. There's nothing moving. Will no boats or anything. Is it a Sunday? No, it's a Monday. We better check with the skipper. Yeah, yeah. There it is. The land of the enemy is big. The bigger that they're bigger they are, the harder they fall. Are you crazy? Don't you know we're supposed to lose the war? Well, no one told me. There's 170 million people in the United States. Yeah, but there's only 10 million in New York. We outsmart them, that's all. Jeez, impossible. Where's the health department? Customs, immigration? We we're just wondering the same thing. Oh, but it's very peculiar. Hey, see that big building? Well, I saw it first. It's mine at the double, at the double. <coughs> now then, gentlemen, men, take, take, sh please make sure you've got your passports and health certificates handy. Sir, well, what is it? The invasion map, sir, is getting me down. Why doesn't somebody come and capture us? Where is everybody? Maybe it's an holiday. Why don't they come out and fight? Fight? I know they declared a new wall, an open sea. I think we should go back to the ship and wait. Wait? Wait for what? Just wait. Oh, come on, it's you. Your mail's got rusty in the rain. Germ warfare. Since when had it been? There have been sticky germ, germs. Chewing gum. Germ warfare. Why don't we storm the building just as for a start? Now, nah, let's keep going. You're sure to find somebody. Well, come on, hey, look, sir. Hey, look, sir, that's where they all are, underground, cowards. Hey, you down there, why don't you come up and fight? Don't, you make them angry. Your marshal, look at this, it's an air raid drill. Everybody's underground, maybe we should go underground too. <coughs> we can surrender when it's all over. Air raid drill today, present today, announce. Development of the plans of a new bomb. Infinitely more powerful than H bomb, capable of devastating area two million square miles. Signed by the noted scientist Dr. Alfred Konitsi of New York Institution of Advanced Physics. Putting out a new bomb, expected to be in reality in a matter of weeks. Give me another map. 
Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe we should, we should wait at the ship. No, no, we must get off the streets now. Oh, I thought we are the guests here. You don't want to spoil their air, air raid drill. Oh, yes, there's the Arsenal. Uh, that's on 64th Street and 5th Avenue. We cut through this uh, central park. Over there, all right, men. All in favour going over the right way, the right way. The strengthening say aye, aye. We are fine, disciplined body men. Let's go. Come on. What are you doing up here anyway? But all we wanted was some cigarettes. Well, borrow one. Okay, give me one. Hey, yeah. Thanks. All right now. Go on. Get going. Don't let don't let me catch you up here again. All right. Good things aren't. This is isn't a real air raid. Some people just want to get killed. They just want to get killed. Look at that decrimination squad, boy. That's the job I wanted. No walking, yeah. Hey, pin, please. Don't have any, Papa. Well, a bobby pin, then. So, finish. That's a warning up brace as a place. We really have to get some food and sleep now, Papa. Been all about it, about it, at it without a break for 48 hours. Now I had a, had a bed put up in an institute shelter. Shelter? What shelter? The practice air raid. Alert on. We should have been down there an hour ago. Alert. For why? Because of you, Papa. Because of this bomb. You and this bomb of yours, I see. I wonder what they'd think if they knew about my little working model. I think they would be all very, very afraid. Glad that we're warning operator works. Yeah, of course. Come on, Papa, please. Yes, for how long? Could be some time. They want people to get used to the long alerts. And I will have to de- remove the detonator to make it harmless. It's very sensitive. It can go off like that, like, like. Are you sure you haven't got a hairpin? Hey, what's going on in here? Here. Why aren't you two in the air show, oh, each other? What's the big idea? What's the idea coming into this lab without knocking? Look, sister, this is an alert. So let's get be alert. Come on, out, out, out. Look, you get out. You know what's good for you? Are you kidding? Now you two can go peaceful. Oh, well, we can dra- I can drag you out. So which is it going to be? Hey, what are we doing playing games here? Come on, pup. Don't you know that's Dr. Kurowski? Dr. Kurowski, Smokeski? Who cares? Come on, let's go. Wait a minute, Kurowski. You mean the fellow with the cute bomb? That's right. No kidding, no kidding. Hey, Doc. Well, how do you do? Hey, this is, uh, that's it. But it's a secret. Now, do you mind leaving us alone? My father wants... To disconnect it, what? You mean it's connected? Sure is. What's more, it's on a heli trigger. So please don't stand the door on the way out. Yeah, sure, okay. See you later, Doc. Yes, goodbye, hey. Why isn't he in Oak, in Rope Ridge? The rest of the scientists, he's eccentric. He likes to work alone. Think, thought this thing was only in planning stage. It was. It's his first working model. He wanted to surprise everybody. Great sense of humour. Ah, oh, one more question. Why is it so different from the H-bomb? H-bomb is new bomb, based on quartillium. It's a hundred times more powerful than hydrogen. In fact, my father used a H-bomb just to trigger this one off. Could probably blow up all of North America. Yeah, some of South America also. Well, any more questions? Yeah. Where do you have to go to be safe? Now, that is a difficult question. Carbon-14, you understand? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's dangerous thing you got there. This is just, let's just hope that it will never be used. That's a nice thought. I feel better already. Now you really must try to be more careful. Goodbye. Just a minute. You haven't had anything to eat since yesterday, Papa. How about asking this man to bring us some sandwiches? Got an awful lot of things to do. I'm now, wouldn't you want my, you want my, want my father's hands to shake from hunger, would you? What kind? Cheese? Chop liver? Chop liver? Chop liver? With a pickle, please, with a pickle. Well, I can't understand it. According to the map, we're supposed to be taking a shortcut. I'm tired, old chin-up cobbly. Perhaps we, when we get to the arsenal, they give us a nice cup of tea. Well, someone's left the engine running. Maybe we can get a lift. Hey. Yeah, hey. What's the matter? Some guys hang around the truck. Air raid wardens. No, they are, they, these are funny-looking guys. What do you mean, funny-looking? I mean, funny-looking like fish. Who are you kidding? What do you mean, like fish? They've got scales, where? All over them. Milligan, Milligan, you sick or something? Men from outer space, they're off for fine saucer. 
Off to Sputnik. Oh, look. Have you seen us? Let's get out of here. Bear from outer space. They were off. They were off for flying saucer ray guns. I was getting out of this suit. Me too. Don't shoot. We're getting into trouble. Hold it. They're not from outer space. They're Americans. They probably belong to this truck. Let's go after them. Tell them we're sorry. They're too late. Let's go and surrender before we get in any more trouble. Car, no, just a minute. We shouldn't leave this truck with this with the engine running. Should we return it in and make them happy? All right, men, into the truck. We'll ride up to the arsenal. Come on. Right here. I'll get a phone and call special reports. Yeah, right. Okay, you can come to on down the highway. Hey, wait a minute. I'm a determination man. Yeah, where's your uniform? I threw it away. I was being chased by men from outer space. I wait for my partner. Come on, you going? Come on, you going to come quietly? Listen, come on, come on, men from Mars. I saw them. Men from Mars. Special reports. Special reports. What's your name and section? O'Hara, section 4300. Subsection 3, determination. Okay, go ahead. There's a bunch of men with a flying saucer. Just landed in New York Central Park. How many? Fifty or sixty? Fifty, sixty? From a flying saucer? Hey, what is this? Just what I said. I saw them. Fifty, sixty. Met weds. All covered in some kind of shiny stuff. They fired at us. It's some kind of ray gun in Central Park. You should have been known to keep out the saloons. You've been told to keep out the saloons, haven't you? Job you're doing is serious. Where you, are you now? In the grocery store, Columbus Avenue, 69th Street. I haven't been in the saloon. Well, stay right where you are. I'm going to send someone over. Off a flying saucer, 300 of them, Central Park. Man for Mars. 300 of them in Central Park. Have you been, have you been invaded for Mars? Thousands of them. Men for Mars, flying saucers all over the place. Men for Mars, ray guns. Yeah, I know. Right, men. Number up. 21. 21, sir. All present correct, sir. Good. Now then, lads. Remember, there's nothing wrong with surrendering to overwhelming odds. Why did we do it? In a, minute, in a military fashion. Yes, carry on. White men, fall in smartly. All right, lads, follow me that way. Quick march, halt, Tully. Yes. Look at that New York Institution of Advanced Physics. That's not the arsenal, is it? No, we lost again. Yes, all right, men. Turk to truck and that double wheel. This is General Snippet. Get me in Washington. Yes, Snippet. Oh, Segre, I have the report on emergency situation in New York. Is rumour coming around the seat being invaded by men for mayors? It's spreading like wildfire. Do you see men for mayors? Yes, sir, in Central Park. Well, how did that rumour begin? Well, Civil Defence Squad leader turned in a report. Were you drunk? Well, I we thought so. But I thought we'd better make a report of it on it anyway. Well, all right, all right, Snippet. You go out and make a personal inspection on that park and report to me. It's kind of nonsense can ruin an exercise. So I had to protect the largest city in our nation. City which I don't need to stress. Entrusted into under your care. Keep me in my dream. Are you ready? And better not wait any longer, Papa. We have to get down to the shelter. Very well. I am hungry. I do the bomb before we go. Well, I don't understand why that warden didn't come back with the sandwiches. Even white bread with no pickle. Oh, thank goodness. Don't put the food here. Oh, who are you? What do you want? Well, that, what is it? Oh, I'm Tully Buscombe. This is Willie Buckley. Isn't it? Is this Dr. Kritsky? Oh, yes, I am. Oh, how nice. We just took a chance, and here you are. You didn't bring my sandwiches. Sandwiches? Oh, uh, no, sir. We come to catch you. Is this some kind of joke? Where are one of those uniforms? They're not you. You're not wardens. No, miss, we're soldiers. Then I haven't got time to explain now. We're at war with America. Come over here to surrender. Now, I think if we take Dr. Kritsky back with us, we shall be in a much better bargaining position. That is it in a brief. You're both crazy. Yes, phone the police. Call the army. It's no use, sir. Everybody's underground. What's on the ta- that on the table? It's coffee percolator. Coffee percolator? Is it? I've seen it. Seen an American percolator. Well, they do push. Don't push anything. I think that's a cue bomb. Yes. Small, isn't it? Well, it made it portable. Well, well. we better take it. Too long, too, Tully. Yes. It's a very good idea, Will. Corporal? 
Yes, shall we go, sir? You'll leave my father alone. Oh, you're his daughter. Well, you better come along as well. Look, I don't think you know what you're doing. No violence, please, the bum. Now, Mr. Grand Marshal, please permit me to dismount it first. I'm sorry, sir. I don't have time. Now, how do I carry it carefully? But, well, Mr. Constable, don't stumble. Don't fall. Because if you fall, all America falls with you, I see. Shall we go? Fall in, you men. Please treat that bomb with great care. Do be careful. Get them doing them quickly. Come along. Can I cover all of you? What is this? What's happening here? What's your name, soldier? I'm General Snippet. You fool, who are you? What's going on around here? Why are you dressed like this? I'm a field marshal, a chief counsel, Tully Buscombe. Your prisoners of war, field marshal, and chief counsel, what? That's you, your grand Fenwick. All right, Fenwick, you're under arrest. Get ten years for this, we'll talk about it, grand Fenwick. You'll be treated with civic defence friends to to rank, general, huh? Take him away, man. 150 years of bread and water. You interrupt this program for important announcements. Contrary to rumour, they are from Mars in the city. Do not panic. What did he say? Hey, cut that out. It's my radio. What did he say? Men from Mars in the city? Say where you are. We have been invaded by men from Mars. Do you hear that? I knew it. I knew it had to come. Men from Mars in the city. No, stay where you are. I hold you there. Well, Fairy Marshal, why don't why aren't you away, away very long? How did the war with the United States go? We won, Mr. Secretary, sir. Yes, Captain, what is it? General Snippet, he's still missing. Oh, that man's an idiot. A heavy star for this. But they found his jeep at a New York institution with advanced phys- physics. Had they gone, they say he was shot. What of arrows? Arrows? As reports, sir, they're flying them down for New York. Also, there was a flag on the arrows. One of custom shreds at the, do- at the docks. What flag is it? No one invented it yet, but they're flying down it down too. Oh, there also, there are rumours about men from Mars. It's still spreading. I'm going to stop this alert. There's something funny going on. I don't like it. A foreign flag on a custom shed? Yes, sir. Now, folk kill you chain in charge of post exchange relations. You think we all realise how important it is the well-being of any community to have a helpful, friendly PX? The be on your toes and under the same sense of judgment. There's no reason why we can't let the Americans have our wine. But it agrees a generous discount. Agreed? Hear, hear. Yes, Maryberry. First impressions are always the strongest. So be sure and give the smiling, bullish GIs a fine, very welcome when they arrive, of course. Ah, as soon as we get the money, we simply must get hold of more, some of that, some malted milk machines, right? And not forget about the hot dogs here, here which are bring me, gentlemen, to the question of the non federation Now, the occupation authority is certain to be very strict on it in this matter, and naturally, we want to cooperate in every possible way. I should imagine the non federation will last us for approximately what forty-eight hours? Uh, forty-eight hours, and we, after which, gentlemen? You want those loathsome GI boys who feel that this is real home away from home. Think that deals with everything. Have you any questions? No, good. Except, uh, shouldn't we have heard something by now? My dear fellow, not to worry. Even complete nincompoop like Tully can't spoil this war. Come on, keep moving. I don't want any more exercise. Half an hour. Field Marshal's orders. Move. On double. On double. It's worse than sitting on a barge of gunfire. Much worse. He, got, he won't let you dismount it. No, I told him it was dangerous. He, he said he, he wants it dangerous. He's power crazy. He knows whoever has a bomb has a well by the tail. It's the only one way to save us. Now you must persuade him to let me make it harmless. I must persuade him? Why me? He likes you. Well, I don't like him for America. No, sir, not me. For mankind. I hate him. That's irrelevant. Not to me. Please do it. Is absolutely necessary, Papa? Absolutely. Sorry, visiting time is over. Yes, I just was just coming. Absolutely, says Coquet. Will you please tell the dictator? I'd like to see him. Well, who, madam? Buscombe. Oh, yes, madam. Are you a typical American girl, madam? Come on, come in. Will you see me? 
Yes, a matter of fact, Mr. Bus- Mr. Buscombe, Miss Cavan, you want to see me? Yes. I think all right. Oh, wonderful. Could be better. Two bar by four cabin on a rocky old boat. The deadly bomb ready to explode on the floor. What could a girl ask? Oh, that's nice. Thanks a lot. Is there something I could do for you? Yes, you could, could let my father dismantle the bomb. I'm oh, sorry, I couldn't do that. I can't do that. Please, it's a personal favour to me. No, I can't. Couldn't. I knew it wasn't, wasn't any use talking to you. Go away. All right. I think you're holding me. I am? Is this the way you treat your prisoners of war? I'm sorry. Oh, I don't mean to offend you. I hope you don't not upset. No, I'm not upset. Do you forgive me? Yes. Now, now, can I go now, please? Not just yet, please. Surely, Mr. Bascombe, despite everything, we can still be friends, can't we? Yes, that's nice. Always admired strong, silent men like you. You're awfully young and handsome to be a field marshal and everything. Do you like American girls? I don't know any American girls but you. I like you. That's nice. Do you want to kiss me? I wouldn't mind. You can turn around right right now well kiss me if you want to really really listen to this look out for a pirate ship flying a double-headed eagle you may attack you what's that mean can't imagine sir a ship on a port bell sir is that so well, perhaps he's seen the pirate ship hello hello you down there have you seen the little mons monsieur help this is kidnapping from the former united states empty at seven all right come on Take your hands off me. What is that all about? I don't know. I don't speak French. Harry, please, I can't keep President waiting. And don't forget that the Confederation War. No, sir. Fine thing the United States and Ryan just the appendix go at war. It takes the FBI to find out about it. Yes, sir. The creatures of hell behind the radiator. The fellow's office in the State Department. Was it, sir? Yes, sir. I mean, sir. Yes. Anyway, Chester won't like it on an island of Yap. But how am I going to tell the President that we've been successfully invaded by a bunch of 15th century Europeans? I am sure if they all find a way, sir, they all love some imitation wine. But what I can understand is why they had resort to war. There are many ways of setting differences short of war. It would be nice to little countries all over the world. Yes, sir, but... The, he did send us some protest, didn't they, sir? We know them. I am going to break the news to pri- How am I going to break the news to prison? We lost the war. Lost the war, sir? It's because they landed. They took a few hostages and then got away again. This is top secret. Not only did they capture Dr. Kerensky, he also took his working model, Q-bomb. The Q-bomb? Well, that, may- that means, yes, sure. They just about c- control the world. I'm going to tell the president. Oh dear, this is so thrilling, so exciting. Where are my sweating sauce, Ada? Hello, Bobo. Happy day. Shouldn't they be here by now? Do you remember what telegram you said? Uh, yes, they did. Uh, Rome props me to the clock p.m. with Americans. One of the news. Love, Tully. Good, good. I hope you don't. they don't bring too many GIs. You know how we're a small country, don't they? Of course they do. Anyway, they're very considerate about that sort of thing. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Company fall in. Well, we race for our own. Actually, there's been a slight change of plan. Oh, I know it would come. A surprise. President Mano, we saw one. We saw what? Well, so it's a long story. We captured a cue bomb, the most destructive weapon in the world. And we got some prisoners too. This is Dr. Korinsky. We vented the bomb. This is Dalton Helen. This is the Grand General Snippet. And these are the are New York policemen. Aha, uh-huh, this is the bomb. Blivering idiot. Lady, please. This is the bomb. Could explode. You could wipe out most of Europe, I beg of you. Let me make it harmless. You can't do that, Your Grace. If we make it harmless, we haven't won anything. They're just some prisoners. Oh, dear. This is most terribly complicated, isn't it? Ah. Put a bomb away somewhere. A dungeon and a uh, doctor, uh, Miss um, Popkins. Can you have the rooms next? Can have the rooms in that mine? Would you like orange or tomato juice with your breakfast? Orange, please. Orange, but lady, this bomb is that not is not the kind of prisoner you shut about in a dungeon. Listen, everybody, 
It is bomb and stolen property. It belongs to the United States of America. Now you stop that. We won't want it fair and square, your grace. We want it fair and great, square, your grace. Give it back, please. If you don't, you'll live in terror the rest of your lives. Give it back. It's the only thing to do. It's the wise thing to do. It's the American thing to do. There goes the red bloody American girl. Your grace, this is General Snippet. This is the real general. I warn you, madam. I know the Covenian cover Geneva cover adventure by heart. Oh, how nice. You must recite it to me. Good evening some evening. I play the harpsichord. <coughs> hey, all right. Right this way. Here, won't be long. Come on and hear what they do. That do. Thank you, sir. Take your hands off me. What do you think you'd, you who think you are? Psychological warfare, brainwashing. Remember men, only your name, rank, and serial number. What is this? What if they talk to us? Never mind what they do. Don't talk. Can we scream a little? Now the first thing to do is form an escape committee and then and there that you are, Captain General. What well what do you think of our your exhibit our exhibits? I was wondering, you new lady. You never get away with it. Our international laws <coughs> Treatment prisoners, I you can't talk to us. You can't keep us in this cell either. My dear General, this is not a cell. It's a museum. We do not use these things any more. Oh, really? Well, I knew all, it all the time. I was just testing you fellows. Well, if you're ready, I'll show you to your rooms. Just a minute. Are you the regularly sized cells, eight by six? I don't really know. You don't know. I never measured them. Meals? You've got to be served on standard size tin plates. I don't believe we have any tin plates here, General. Then we refuse to move unless you convince me and my men and I will be treated according to regulations. A budget one inch, excuse me. I see. Are you sure you won't have something to eat, General? Only if it's served on a template. Very well. Follow me, gentlemen, will you? Men, stand by your rights. Well, we show them they, that they care. Men, where are you? Men, men and you, no. Hope the General's okay. I showed them no templates, sir. They had templates. Here is the news. Situation seems great tonight. Lights are burning light. Every transit. The continent of Europe. Many men are under arms that they that, that never before in the history of the world. In Parliament tonight, the Prime Minister said that Britain, Grenfell, are needed not only by ties of language and history, but by blood. It is only a matter of pure accident that the tiny Dutch is not a member of the Commonwealth. Therefore, a gratuitous government will do all its power to protect the integrity of its British outposts across the Channel. There were cheers on both sides of the House. In Paris, the president stated not only was Fenwick historically a part of France, but in the interest of those two wine living, wine loving, and wine growing countries identical, identical, it would be maintained identical and would be maintained at all costs. There are scenes of excitement in Moscow tonight when the Premier said, although the United States had invented Cuba on its own many years ago, peace loving workers of the USSR would do everything necessary to prevent the Fenwick bomb from falling into greedy, blood-stained hands. Peerless, well-mongering hyenas. United States and New York Yankees defeated the Milwaukee Braves. 6-2 in the final match. World Series. The American version of football. Meanwhile, a no word for General Fenwick. He seems how now to control the destiny of the world. The tiny country apparently remains calm and concerned. Indeed, I must say different to its rising, the rising connection, sir. It's from China. It says, if there's anything we can do to help you against the United States, please don't hesitate to ask. Well, with regards, if possible. No matter what, what, we simply can't do business with China. Not for in China, it's for the other one. Oh. Well, I don't know, I'm in trouble. Now, what are we do, going to do about it? I don't know what all the fuss is about, sir. We can have a plane with 400 paratroopers over. To a little work water country and get the bomb is cutting out before they know what hit them. General, not quite that simple. Admittedly, we were at war with Grenfell Wick, and League and Titan attacked them. But we do, but you do, you want to record in history a nation of our size attack the smallest country in the world. Now, so we stuck. We sure are. Now, the French have offered eight divisions to protect Grenfell from attack. British are considering 14. Europe. Egypt have offered six, 
half interested. The Suez Canal? No, naturally. They all want to take the bomb home for safekeeping. Argentina, Brazil, France, Germany, Italy. They all want to help us, is it possible. Before the war we reaped as a raped as a fruits of victory, disaster. Well, it's all your idea, Robo. My idea? My idea was perfectly sound. I used to saw imbecile could have won this war and he did. I know, but he he meant well. The res Russians offered twenty divisions. I told Fenwick they won an answer within twenty eight hours. They gave him thirty divisions for general. They don't seem to appreciate our position. Well, well, Fenwick, how can we send troops to protect your, our enemy? Well, you know, it's something we're stuck. As a result, we now have this frightful engine of destruction, which a mere rumbling of farm cart will try us all, and the rest of Europe with us. As a result, we will all go to war with the whole. As a result, we are to go to war with the whole world. I know what are you. you not our oh, impetuous young friend what they would say, guard of frontiers. I say let us give America the privilege of guarding its own frontiers. At least they can afford it. Your Grace, we must give them a bomb back immediately. Not sure about that, Bobo. I mean Americans are wonderful people. Perhaps we shouldn't have taken the bomb. Anyway, Bobo, even if we did give it back to them, some other country would go and invent a Q bomb of their own. And we have an X, Y, Z, Z bomb. Sunday, one of them will go off. Boom. Then, what does your grace suggest? I don't really know. But I think we should wait. Wait? Wait for what? I see. Well, in that case, I resign. So do I. You're all so sensitive. Well, Tony, afraid you're Prime Minister now. You think? Do you try and think of something, won't you? Well, I could do my best, your grace. There's a good boy. Oh, dear, dear. It's all conf so confusing. Having the man conscious of the world is one in one's own home. Very difficult. I do wish Leopold was here. Oh, we, but we won, didn't we? The world isn't the same anymore. Hey, you know something? Make the peace of them. They can, that way we can protect them. That's precisely what the president hoped you say. Unfortunately, the Secretary of State is still busy in, in the Far East. So it's up to me, I'm afraid. So if I fly over to Fenwick immediately, trying to arrange an embassy. Agreed? Yeah, sure, fine, sure. Who is it? May he come in? No. I'm still very... Uh, you're still angry? I'm still your prisoner. May I say how much we both enjoyed your speech when you first arrived? If you enjoyed it so much, why don't you let me finish it? Who are you anyway? A friend. Count Mentjoy. A chief... A grace, a chief advisor. This is Benter, leader of the local opposition. What do you want in return? May I ask you what you want? I thought I made it clear. I want to get that bomb back to America, my father, myself with it. General Snippet and the policeman as well. Why not? Hey, whose side are you on? Side of sanity. In this case is dear young lady. Yours. We see nothing more advantageous than our immediate return to America with a bomb. Do you mean that? Absolutely. We just want to get out of this mess. What made you get? What have you got in mind? Well, we just you take the naughty bomb away, and what is more, we we'll help you do it. You mean take it back to America? Yes, we shall return it within the hour. Prepare to escape. Till then, dear lady, au revoir. Adieu. Oh, you American women are so charming, so very charming. Look, we've only got an hour. Pity. Who is it? Well, come in. I'm taking a bath. So, wait here, wait there. You're too soon. I didn't expect you for half an hour. You didn't? Who then? Who's that? It's me, Tully Beskin. You remember? How could I forget? What do you want? I want to talk to you about being friends. Like you said on the boat. That was on the boat. You and I could never be friends. Goodbye. You really mean that? Yes, I do. Get out. Get You get out here. You're screened. You late... You keep on that. The water's cold. How did you come in here when I was stuck in this middle barrel? That barrel was made by a very old firm of barrel makers. Who cares? Barrel is a barrel. Now you get out. All right. I'll wait down here. There. Don't wait. Come back tomorrow. No, I'll just wait. You don't mind? Guard. Do you wish to see my credentials? I come here to discuss a very important matter with the Duchess of Gloria. 
The holders are to meet no one, sir. This is very important. As what they, they all say. I come here to discuss the surrender terms. Whose? Ours. I have to wait here with the others. Guard. Aggressor. We're all told to wait here. Until we have been permission to enter by the free living workers of Grand Fenwick. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, God. Do you come here, comrade? Never touch it. Well, General, we don't know much time. Yes, but we shouldn't. What, what shouldn't we have to, to Kowitzki to connect it first? We can't find him. We look everywhere, but I come now, General. Please, General. Well, who's going to carry it? Shall we? Up pay, up pay. Come with the day. Up pay. Come while you may, you may. Away upon the hay. And count them while we may. Look, Basil Coombe. There's no use hanging around. I've had nothing to say to you. So, for the last time, will you please go? I see. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, if I never see you, this antique tourist trap of yours again, I'll be a happy gal. Antique tourist trap? You seem to forget we won the war. It was an accident. You snuck up on us. It was broad daylight. It was underground. No, anyway, we won. We weren't looking where you got your bomb. There's nothing you can do about that. You stole it. It's still in part of your primitive culture, too. It's captured booty. Belongs to the United States. You belong to me. You're my prisoner. Thief, get the car. Right. Go away, it's me. You sure my father's waiting for the others? Would I lie to you? Frankly, yes. Thank you. I promise that he's waiting with the others. Now, please, please come along. Who is it? Me again, Tully. Can't come in. Go away. I just came back to say I'm sorry. Also, I thought that the whole thing over. My problem is that I love you. You do? Yes. And furthermore, Alan, I think you love me. I do? Yes. Can I, can I, can I come in now, Alan? No, no. You just wait there a minute while I think. Well, take your time then. Come along. He said he loved me. Congratulations. I think he means it. Yes, he's an idiot. Please. Well, he's silly, but he's nice. Well, write him a letter then. I think he always liked, I always liked him. So I have, so have I, my dear. Please, please let us go now. Where are they? Some transportation you range, I must say. Belongs to Duchess. I only hope she doesn't find out, that's all. I've got my own worries. Helen, Helen, where's my father? Yes, where's my her father? Thought well, you had him. I knew you were a snake, you snake. My dear girl, there's nothing to worry about. You should look after your father, I assure you. You get the bomb home. It'll be certainly safe. Do not expect me to leave him. But you don't think we could try to escape in this thing without a bomb being dismantled, do you? Little lady, there is no time to argue. Please go. Bon voyage. Where do you suppose the doctor is anyway? I have the faintest idea, Helen. My girl and my bomb. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not the end of our film. However, something very much like this could happen at any moment. We just thought we ought to prepare you and more or less put you in the mood. Thank you. And now back to our story. Five. Have another throw. One, six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. I bomb Philadelphia. Who owns Philadelphia? I do. Yeah, you owe me 500 heavy bombers there. Yeah, now it's my turn. Four. One, two, three, four. Take a chance. Go to salt mines. Ah, fortunately. I could pay a fine instead. I get Saudi Arabia. Not a bad game. I agree. It's called diplomacy. My chauffeurs, actually. Jolly good fun, I think. My throw. Stop it, you idiot. Stop it. Fix the car, you idiot. Don't you think you ought to hold on this for a while? After all, it's your father's. No, not me. I'm only a girl. Hurry up, boys. Gently. Hey, Helen. Tully, Tully, Helen. Helen, be careful. Stop that. What's the matter now? We won't make the heel. We'll do, we'll do something. Get out and push. Now don't jerk it. Steady. Put some weight in behind it. Easy, boys. My car just ran into the haystack. By Jove, hurry up, you guys. Come on, let's get him. 
out of, out of there. General Snippet? General, you all right? Come on, I up. General Snippet, are you all right? The bomb is going off. Let's get going. Get out of here. Tully, you are ready? Well, sir, I've never been a prime minister of thought. Um, anyway, point one. California wine must go off the market. And we'll go back to business as usual. You want that in the peace treaty? Oh, yes, sir. You want that in the treaty? We want a million dollars. Well, a million, billion dollars? Oh, you mean a billion dollars? No, sir. Just a million. You can't expect you to give you a million, a million. Is that what we spent in Germany? One city alone. So, yes. But you see, sir, they lost. Well, I can't promise to get that through. You're going to have to make it a billion. Well, if you could try, sir. <clears throat> well, we'll get some of that that to be in the form of bathtubs. Our oh, plumbing equipment. That's right, Henry, Henry, isn't it? Oh, dear. Yes, we're going to be married, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Then, what about the bomb? Well, the bomb stays here on Dr. Kretzky. Two, we want him to develop a chewing gum. A pivot, grand fabric flavour, which naturally we expect to support so to support the United States. Well, do you want me to include a peace treaty? Absolutely. Oh, yes, that. It might be all, all would be in very well. And now, what about the bomb? Surely you realise you can't keep it indefinitely. Well, sir, we like your, your present. We would be minus very much to try and persuade the United Nations to let little countries of the world look at the bomb. We want a general disarmament. We want this league of little nations to be in charge of the inspection. See, this all goes through smoothly. You know, like I, I see and think. But look, what you're proposing isn't new. Everybody's been crying for disarmament for years and nothing happened. Our thing is big nations were well, returning for their art to their arms. Well, sir, we'll offer them trust. You see, you can't argue with anything, agree with anything. Because they all suspect each other. I think we all hoped things would be better after the last war, but in many ways it was worse. All those bombs and things. Well, do you really, really believe really believe that the big nations are going to trust groups new neutral nations to set up disarmament policy for them? Do you think they agree to that? Well, I hope so, sir, because if they don't, we just have to explode the bomb. You'll be all blown up too, you see, Mr Secretary. There were word to be an atomic war. Fenwick will be destroyed anyway. The way things are, we're just probably in agony, aren't we? I mean, well, I see what you mean. Oh, well, America waits. Well, there's nothing more than peace. Always has. I'll do my very best and for all our sakes. I hope we'll make it. Thank you. It'd be awfully nice for you to come. we will be, we'll be escorted you back to Boulder. Do give my love to your present, will you? Mr. Coolidge, too. Your Highness, please, excuse me. This is the most important. Bomb has had been has searched and shaken up. Think it's better I give it a good look. As soon as possible, in fact, here now. Yes, I think Papa's right. Well, yes, to be careful. Thank you, Papa. Won't you, thank Papa? Thank you. Well, are you a dud? You're a dud. And all that, all this time, it was a dud. Remarkable. Congratulations. Power, power, and proud Shh. We know oh, how the bell is getting on. Never better will. Oh, fine, fine, all right, all right now, all right, carry on.